Hi guys, this is Mr. Miller. This is a quick video on how to make a suspension bridge in Tinkercad. Uh, so to get started with any design, uh, of course it helps to draw it. So um, let's go ahead and do that. This isn't going to be the most elaborate uh, suspension bridge. We're just going to go ahead and make two beams, our deck, and uh, some suspension cables in between. Okay, so we have our beams. Those beams are going to overall be 2.5 inches tall from our design requirements. 2.5 inches is the height of our legs. Uh, then since in this case, we're 3D printing our bridges, we're gonna go ahead and use string in place of regular you know, steel suspension cables. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to uh, just cut some holes into our the deck of our bridge so that we can thread some string through that. Okay, then all we need is some place for us to tie our overarching uh, suspension cable to. So we'll add some slightly smaller tabs to the top of our bridge and we'll make sure to at our, we'll wrap our suspension cable around that. This will be a piece of string, remember? And then we'll have string coming from each one of these holes to support the deck of our bridge. Okay, and then remember, we're making sure we hit our design requirements, which will be specified in your project for you. Those are located right here, eight inches long, three inches wide, 2.5 inches for the legs. So that's from the ground to the base of the, the deck. And then our deck needs to be 1 16th of an inch thick and a total maximum height of 7 inches. So let's go ahead and design our Tinkercad bridge. I'll see you guys there. All right, let's make our suspension bridge. So now that we're in Tinkercad, go ahead and press Create new design. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, like always, is change our grid in the bottom right-hand corner to inches. So go ahead and select inches, set this to eight inches by three inches. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and create the base of our bridge. This is our basic um, foundation, which we're going to, which is the same as a beam bridge. So 0 0.25 inches by 0 0.25 inches. And then remember the length of these legs needs to be 2.5 inches. Okay, let's drag that into the bottom left-hand corner. Then we're going to duplicate it, click on it in the upper left-hand corner. Click on duplicate. And let's put it in the very back right-hand corner. Make sure those are lines. Looks like, yep, they are in fact already aligned. Perfect. Let's go ahead and group those two. We'll make them a new color so we know they're grouped. Now let's go and duplicate this. Drag that over. Okay, looks like it is aligned to the back of our work plane. Wonderful, but let's go ahead and double check to make sure that everything's aligned. So I highlighted everything, go to align. We're going to see that in fact it is aligned in the center. And yep, everything is good. Okay, so let's go ahead and group those. We'll change colors to know that it worked. Perfect. We'll set our work plane to the top of one of these legs. Then we're gonna take uh, another rectangle and make the deck of our bridge. So let's go ahead and do that. We want this to be three inches wide by one sixteenth of an inch tall, 0 0.0625. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and align that. Let's make sure that this thing is eight inches long. All 
right, and click and drag to cover everything. Let's check the alignment. Make sure it's centered. Put it on the back edge. Perfect. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. Yep, that looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and select everything. We'll group it and we'll move on to the suspension part of this. All right, so as we saw in the diagram of our suspension bridge that we're making, uh, we're just going to make some pillars that go upwards and then we're going to add a thick bar that we're going to cut some holes into that will feed some string through to make our suspension cables. All right, but the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make those towers. So drag it another block we're going to set this to a height of two inches then let's make this a quarter inch wide by a quarter inch okay we want it to be aligned to the very edge of our table let's do that and perfect okay now that we've done that, we're going to change the work plane again. Put it. I press W on my keyboard, or you could press work plane in the upper right-hand corner. Click on the top of the new post we made, drag another block. All right, now we want this to be a little bit less wide, so we're going to set it to 0 0.2 inches by 0 0.2 inches. We're going to give this a height of still a quarter of an inch okay and then we simply want to oops we're going everywhere drag this and center it above our beam all right so we have those two selected and the line we're going to go ahead and align this block uh, to this post we just made so go ahead and click those two uh, then center them Okay, now that they're centered, we're going to go ahead and group those two. Group in the right-hand corner. Now we need to make sure that this thing is, in fact, aligned to the edge of our overall bridge again. So let's do that. Have everything highlighted. Okay. And, yep, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this one. Duplicate it, drag that to the very edge of our table, perfect, let's make sure that one's aligned, looks good, okay, let's grab these two and we will group those two. Then we're going to change our work plane, put it on the top of the deck of the bridge. One more block. Now we're going to set this to a, a half an inch and a quarter inch wide. Okay. Now drag it and align it to the edge of our table. And we are getting tired of aligning things. That is the deal with Tinkercad. Okay, so once again, we're just going to click and drag and we're just going to on it like that. All right, so now that we've done that, let's just drag this beam across our entire deck of our bridge. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and group those. All right, now let's change our work plane to be on the side of this bridge and we're gonna cut some holes and do it. Let's go ahead and make this, we'll say a less than a, um, we're gonna make it a quarter inch in diameter overall. So we'll need to select both sides. 
Okay, now the challenge is we just need to put this in a repeatable location. So let's go ahead and actually go a step backwards. We're going to group the ungroup things and align this peg, the cylinder, to this beam right here. Okay, so we're lining them vertically. All right now, let's drag this. We're going to change the work plane again. We set it to the side of our bridge. We're going to drag this inwards, like so. Now we're going to duplicate this. Click on it, duplicate. Now drag it over. Don't want it to go down any, so we're going to put a zero there. I'm going to make this 1.5 inches. Perfect. Let's do that again. Zoom in. Duplicated it. Now zoom in. Don't want it to go up vertically. And we're going to make this 1.5 inches. Perfect. And let's do that one more time. Duplicate. Drag it over. Set it to 1.5 inches horizontally, and no vertical change. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to take all of these cylinders, do shift click to select all of them. We're going to go ahead and group those. Now let's, with those selected, I'm going to select the side of the bridge. I'm going to do a line and make sure they're aligned to the center. Now I'm going to make these pegs a hole, and I'm going to go ahead and group those with this beam. And so now we have some holes. Perfect. All right, last thing to do, uh, two last things. We're going to go ahead and select our pillars and the beams with the hole. The beam with the hole. We're going to go ahead and group those, and we're going to duplicate that. Oops, let's undo that. Let's change the work plane to make it easier to move. All right, and then let's just click and drag this to put it into place. We'll go ahead and align that portion of the bridge with the rest of it. It looks like the other one came out of line. alignment. Okay, so. It looks like we're still off a little bit. Change the snap grid to Sixteenth of an inch. Let's see if that helps. Okay, we'll do one thirty second. All right, that's pretty close. We're going to go ahead and check the alignment one last time. All right, we'll group those two. This one over here, we will realign. Okay, I think it's good. All right, and that's it for the, we'll group it one last time. That's it for our truss bridge, or our suspension bridge. Okay, I'll see you guys in class.